I'll go Wario. Just go My Wario is playing well enough today, that is. Um, yeah, we got Inkling Wolf. Yes, this is the matchup we were expecting, I think. Uh, maybe again. Wolf has a reflector, so John is probably not going to go Sword Fighter against this character. And he also has a better projectile. Yes. So. That is a transcendent 8% projectile, and sometimes just 10, and sometimes just 6. But 8% is the average. So. Uh, right now, uh, Bao already has John off stage. Yeah, so Numbers was doing that to me a lot in friendlies, where I would like try and ledge trap him, and um, Numbers would just say, you know what, I'm definitely just going to do ledge drop and neutral B. And uh, this is disjointed as heck, and you're going to get pulled away from me, and that's a whole lot of damage for Numbers. Yeah. I think it's also one of those options if you read, like if uh, Wolf reads it with a full hot nair or a short hot nair, you can definitely get blown up for it. Yeah. But um, it's one of those 50-50 things. But, um, you know, as the game goes along, See John kind of trailing, trailing Bao right now. He's been really, Bao's really been controlling neutral. Yeah, he's been doing a really solid job. Like he again, one of the big things for Wolf is that you're not really forced to respect Inkling off the ledge, um, just because you have the the uh, reflector to deal with um, splat bomb. And not only that, you also have the hitbox to just out prioritize roller and just beat it flat out. Down smash is that big. It'll beat roller, um, at least jump roller. So. Wow, and that was cute with John. John I'm ducked under to the charge to uh, duck under the shot by Wolf. It's pretty hilarious. Dash Act will probably end the stock if it's close to ledge here. Definitely gonna be looking for that is the young Nexus bow foul. Yeah, so <laughs> so John so John is going for a lot of for a lot of those rollers with a and he's dead. close proximity. I was just about to say he you got a bow might get clipped. Yeah he's been throwing out a lot of hitboxes. Looking for that down angle death tilt. Yeah, you, you don't, don't, my, don't, mm, he just ate 20 because he just was impatient and just didn't want to. Full hop? Yeah. <laughs> you have the air mobility. You didn't you're want wolf. a you're, full hop? You're wolf. You just... My guy definitely walked into it four times like, I'm going to yeah. hit you. Yeah. That's the way, I feel like that's the, 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 the kind of player that uh, Bao is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's De just, I'm definitely gonna, a goon. He's definitely, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I'm definitely hitting you. I'm going to hit you and I'm going to hit you. Yeah. Why didn't he just laser? He should have just lasered it. It's transcendent. I just thought about that. He definitely could just laser it. Yeah, but I mean, could have killed him. But yeah. nonetheless, uh, first stock, John's already at 41%. Huh. And he's put on the lot of that. Nice. I like the uh, the, the uh, jump mix up there. Getting over roller. And then the air pressure by Bao. Um, well, well placed, because he's putting in positions where John isn't in a position to punish really hard. Barely missing that landing fair is kind of a big deal. You want to force John to keep holding shield. Wolf's fair is fairly safe, max space, so. And that detail lasts for eight frames, so yeah, you cannot sit on ledge against that move. Yeah, and the down smash is also disjointed, yes. which snuffed out the Wolf up B. Um, Bao doing it early, thinking that John would throw it a hitbox, but it wasn't the case. And that could have been probably a little yo, bit more of an exception. I actually, yo, I actually hate when um, Inklings do that nair. Because I feel like when they do the nair and they, it links into combos that they shouldn't hit at all. Yeah. It's like one of the worst feelings ever. Yeah, Link Inkling nair is one of those moves where it looks like it, it has way more stun than it looks like it has. Um, and you think you can mash a button out, but you as the mash air dodge always. And, yeah. if, it, and if, it, if they hit you, it was just flat out true. And that's just how that move works. That nair is kind of crazy. And then again, what top tier's nair isn't crazy. Yeah, you know it's kind of crazy right now. Um, so John is coming that. off the ledge with that. With oh, that you're taking. Oh, excuse me. That was an awful up smash. Yeah, that was that that was spaced um, miserably. That was there. Yikes! Down smash on no tech. Numbers looking poised to take this game. Number one. Yeah. So Wolf is one of those characters. He's not small enough to drop out of that, and he's not uh, light or heavy enough rather to um, get hit by the weak spot. Certain heavy characters will actually get launched at a certain angle so that they don't get hit into the strong hit of that. I know, uh, I think it's characters that are above like 98 weight, I think. I'm yes. not 100% positive. I think it's somewhere around there. Okay. But yes, light characters will always, that'll always be true on. Heavier characters, not the case. I know Wario is immune, that's why I know that. But. Okay, okay. Um, going into game two, going back to PS2. All right. So uh, I think Bao should just really look out for those uh, those rollers in close proximity because he's been getting, getting hit by a lot of them. Um, kind of just because John is catching him throwing out a button, and especially a grounded button like some of the ground buttons Wolf has is gonna get snuffed out by the roller. Definitely. Ooh, double dash stack. Numbers not respecting that. Ooh, that's a scary situation. But you get the big hitbox to cover you there. Ooh, he calls him out. He says you're mashing buttons. I'm definitely gonna smash straight through all of it. That s did not care what he's done. No, he's like, <coughs> that's a, it's a big hitbox. Oh, yeah. And a safe on hit. Yep. Low cooldown. 
Nice. That Nair had super good coverage, just going straight past the platform. That's safe. Yeah, and Bao just respecting that splatter shot at that point. Uh, he's dash a little too much. Looking for numbers to approach and Lord knows. Ooh, so that reverse F tilt by Bao was definitely in the sliding forward F tilt. Yeah. I think it's the correct F tilt. Dash check again, sending upward. Jeez Louise, he has no ink though. Yeah, he's just he, nearing for dear life. Yeah, he, he, he had stage <laughs> control, so he didn't want to give it up there by charging ink, but um, he still doesn't have it there, now he's going to get some. Almost pulling. Looking for another roller. I think he's just looking for Bao to be stuck in movement. Uh, like, a, like a dash forward or even a dash back. Jeez Louise. It is still frame 16, but it, feel, it feels instant from the ledge. Yeah, and, and right now, Bao is just, you know, they're both trading right now. In, in a game of trade, it seems like, I was going to say, it seems like Wolf will win, but um, caught Bao sleeping at the ledge. Okay. Yeah, the, the thing is that while Wolf has really solid hitboxes, some of the hitboxes are slightly on the slow side. So, Ingwing is a slightly faster character than uh, Wolf in terms of frame data. So, John's going to have that advantage most of the time. And again, I was going to mention earlier, I would like to see Bao sitting at roll range more. But in reality, if Number sees that, he can just react and do that ledge jump spat splatter shot as he just showed. Jeez. Yeah, and I think Bao needs to. It, it oh, would, he's dead. Yeah, I think Bao would benefit from like walking more. He'll be a little bit more patient and neutral because he's catching a lot of uh, Bao's running running away attempts. A lot of Bao's panic options when he's on the defensive, and because uh, he's just moving really fast. Yeah, you, you you have to respect that move. Numbers has done it like three times in a row, and Bao just hasn't respected the splatter shot. It's, it's, it's a very strong roll read attempt. Yeah, numbers gets more than like 80 here. Ooh, should have been a bigger combo there. Ooh, oh, fair, my God. Air air. Yeah, he wanted he wanted to get a fair and air. Yeah. Didn't get off the platform in time. Though. That's charged. safe. Yeah, charging that down smash. John did not yeah. get punished. I, part of me feels like, because against Inkling, a lot of the time, you just have to kind of stand around and not be moving a whole lot. Yeah. Because, again, Inkling roller is only reactable if you're not in movement. Are you dead? Yeah, he, yeah, he definitely died. Yeah, so think about that was Bao definitely ran into a bunch of those rollers um, from just his impatience. Because you, yeah, he, he, yeah, you saw John putting pressure on his shield, and he just keeps jumping and throwing out buttons. Yeah, he was man. throwing out buttons. You can't be throwing out buttons at max range. John is going to catch that pretty much every time. Um, again, Inkling is one of those characters that you, you, you kind of have to just sit still and react to what she's going to do. I can't have the same problem against Palutena because she's the same same way where you kind of have to sit around and not press buttons versus her ever or jump versus her pretty much ever. Yeah. Um, Inkling, it's, it's not so much jumping that, that is super bad, but moving on the floor that's super bad. Yeah.